What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon. I'm your comic book noob. Welcome to the Noob Reaper. <laughs> How'd you like that one, eh? <laughs> Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark! Um, today's episode, we are going to talk about TV shows. TV shows. TV shows. We did an episode a little while back about movies. Uh, this time, I think we'll talk about comic book TV shows, especially with all the buzz around One Division. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you are new to the channel though, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Mark? Hit, hit that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up. Let's do this. Alright, so um, I guess with the whole One Division thing, before we start, how are you, how are you enjoying One Division? I've only seen the first two episodes, but yeah, I'm enjoying so it. I'm enjoying it. It's like a. It's, I'm, I'm re it reads like a Tom King. To like a Tom King novel. Well, it's heavily based on his. Yeah, nah, no, not really. No, it's a mixture, but it's written like in pieces or, or you know, pieces of the puzzle, and then it all come together. Um, I'm just saying, I just I just finished reading the latest issue of Strange Adventures. So it just yeah, it's it's intriguing, and it's um, I love that they're letting us sort of figure it out a little bit for ourselves, and that's attributed to obviously the storytelling and the, and the and the quality of show and writer writers that it's got. Being that there's been four episodes now, is the, do you know any more about what's going on behind the scenes? Because that was the thing at the end of the first in, episode. In the fourth, in the fourth episode. Okay, okay. Cool. First two episodes, they set up the narrative, you know, and in the second episode, they sort of give you a bit of a glitch. The third one is more of a glitch, and then the fourth one is is more of what's what, what's happening outside her own bubble. I've got to get around to watching it. So, uh, I guess what we'll start is we'll, we'll take a trip down Nostalgia Lane and um, talk about some classic comic book TV shows. I guess one I want to start with is Batman. 1966 Batman, you mean? Yes, the OG. That series was so popular throughout the masses. It's still resonating now. Even my dad, like, no, like my dad, I didn't know he knew anything about pop culture, but even he knew stuff about the Batman TV series. Because I remember him telling me about the multiple actresses that played Catwoman, Catwoman right? Because it was I, big actresses too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like my dad knew, that's why he knew about it, wasn't it? Because of the pretty ladies. I know that's my, where you get it from. I know, that's right. I know my dad, like mate. Father, I know, like son, I know mate. my dad, See? that's right. See? <laughs> but it's just funny to look back on that. I've got the box set on Blu-ray, and I really want to go back and watch it. Hey, I've got them all. Well. Um, Did you get the one with the car? No, oh, man. Yeah, I yeah, had to. They yeah, should nah. got the one with the car. They just discontinued. I just got the regular box set, and they just discontinued it. So I was like, I have to get it before I can't get it. But yeah, I know. I've got the one with the car. I know people. Had to. Last time I was in New York, uh, Comic Con. I've got the, the the special action figure that they released for New York Comic Con. The one with Batman and Robin climbing the climbing the building, the diorama with them climbing the building. I've got yeah. that one. That's yeah. I, look, I'm a big fan. I grew up with it as a kid as well. I remember coming home. They used to have it on reruns um, on uh, about Soon four o'clock. Yeah, exactly. As soon as you got home, yeah. it was the perfect school time. Closed, school, school here would finish at about three thirty. So as soon as you got home. About you know 20 minutes later, you would um, uh, switch it on and be there. And I remember recording them on VHS. And then there was the movie, and you know with the the shark repellent, you know, that, and that was mid-season. That was in the season. Oh, I really? That was a mid-season. Well, thing. they often also left with cliffhangers at the end of episodes. Oh, always. Come tune, tune in again, same bat time, same, same bat, bat channel. You know, so it's iconic. It's iconic pop culture sayings. You know, and, and, and when a, a TV show or, or, or media or, you know, a type of art form can do that, it, um, then it's an achievement. I mean, you know, Lucas has done it with Star Wars, you know, why couldn't, and when Batman did it, obviously years before that, coined, you know, that now that's a, a, a catchphrase, same bat channel, you know, same bat time, it's, it's absolutely something that you want to achieve, the of love. course. Um, yeah, they had a rerun on TV recently where I watched, um, and it happened to be the crossover episode with Green Hornet, which is very cool. Bruce mm. Lee was in it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's... the crossover episode. Yeah. I I'd say the Batman 66 was my uh, doorway into superheroes and comic books. Yeah. I, I would have to have to say that. Uh, I know. But, you know, but after that, that opened the door for many, many comic book series. Yeah. Green Hornet, you know, you got to understand, Batman has been in TV way before that. You know, in black and white, so it was it was a 1930s, well 1940s, I suppose, 1940s black and white Batman series. Really? Yeah, I knew, the, I knew there was the old Superman one. Yeah, there's a Superman one as well. Yeah, I haven't seen it. 1966 was the one that really appealed to the masses. You know, like a greater audience. 
because of the the get special guest uh, stars that would have on the show. You know, look who who's going to appear next when they would walk up a building. You know, a, uh, a celebrity of the era would pop out of a window. You know, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, whoever it may be. You know, everyone who was anyone in Hollywood would pop out of a window as they were climbing a building. And that's what made it to the masses as well. Who's gonna pop out this time? Who's gonna pop out in this episode? It, it took Frank Miller to do The Dark Knight Returns to, for Batman's, for people to look at Batman in a different way. Yeah. So it resonated a long time. All right, let's move on from Batman just because we're Please, only, only talking about Batman. <laughs> um, another show I remember from back when I was a very small boy that I thought was super cool was The Flash. Yeah, the Flash. I don't like remember in, it in the at 90s. all. But he used to run circles around people. <laughs> yeah, the nineties were awesome. But the Flash was awesome. I, I remember, I remember recording every episode of that too when I when I was a kid. Because that was how I discovered the Flash. You know, I guess mm. I don't know. I can't remember if at the time I knew about the Flash from comic books. I loved the Flash because I read the comic book. So uh, having a Flash series it was really good. They, they, um, it was yeah, it was good. I, I, I loved it. The jo John Wesley ship did a really good job. Oh, man, now okay, now they're all coming back into my brain. All right, so. Give me your opinion. As a big Superman fan, Lois and Clark as a show. I never really watched it to be honest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Even I watched it back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DK, it wasn't Terry for, Hatcher it just wasn't man. For me. I know Terry, Terry Hatcher. Hatcher back in the day it just was... wasn't for me, mate. Was it because you were a comic book fan and you didn't it didn't resonate with you? Nah, I don't know. I just I just I, I, I just wasn't for me the whole. I'd rather I watched Smallville. I, I liked Smallville for what, what it was, but because it was in its own universe sort of thing. And whereas uh, Lois and Clark, I was more interested. I was more interested in a Superman series than a Lois and Clark series, you know. And yeah, Dean Cain was awesome. He was a great Superman, and he was a great Clark Kent more. And, and that's what you have to you have to look at, you know, because that's always a Clark Kent show. But he made a great Superman as well. Whereas you know, same with uh, Smallville, he was a great Clark Kent. And I assumed to become Superman, and it, and, it, and it showed his growth as Clark Kent, you know, becoming a hero and helping people. So it showed his growth. There's just some of those ones like Smallville where they seem so out of the norm and out of continuity that don't interest me. Things like Gotham and stuff, because to me, they don't tie in anywhere. It's, it's not that. It's not only that, but it, they 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 sort of stretch the source of material. They use the source of material, but they, then they put their own interpretation on it, and that's fine. Everyone has to interpret it the way they feel. Um, but TV series um, that people probably don't know are comic books. For example, Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy. Um, there's so many on Netflix. Um, what's the one? Happy? Lock and Key. Happy. There's Runaways as well. Um, from De that there's a Deadly Class show. Deadly Class. Hollywood's been doing that for ages, for years. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not, it's not, it's, it's nothing different. It's just a different medium they're pulling from. Now, instead of pulling from books, they're pulling from comics. Comic books are perfect. It does. Because they're a, basically a storyboard. For the creators, right? For the creators. Yeah. Um, and do you think that obviously benefits the comic book industry? Yes and no. Yes and it no. It depends how good the quality of the show is and how much and how much uh, it um, it bolsters the book. I think nowadays they're more pushing, they're interpreting it different but to, for the greater masses, but they're doing it in some cases for the greater masses so they can sell it to more networks and more overseas and people can appeal to more people. A lot of people who, who love the series, if you fall in love with the series, most of the time they come in and they want to read what the comic book is like. I make them aware that it's not exactly like the show. So, for instance, Boys, the Boys, right? Yeah, it's very different. So the book is very violent and and very um, a lot of sexual undertones. A lot of stuff that's in the book you can't put in the show. It's just not right. And the thing is, it, it gets away with it with the book because it is a comic book. And you know, Garth Ennis, who wrote the comic book, it really pushed the boundaries, and that's what people loved—the ridiculousness of a lot of the things in there. But the, but you know, when you put it on in, in a three-dimensional setting. Yeah, a lot of the stuff you can't do that, you know? And, and I appreciate that. I love the show for what the show is, but I also love the book for what the book is. And another quick example is Preacher. Yes, you know, I haven't seen that's that. That's a lot of, everyone loves it. Some people love it, some people hate it. I, I liked it for what it was, the show, but I also liked the book for what it was. Is know? there any comic books, um, let's go with more indie rather than the DC Marvel, that you would like to see as a show? I'd love to see, more obscure stuff, you know, like a Vampirella TV series. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, the Descender would make a great TV show. 
uh, Chew would make a great TV show. Oh man, because that's so episodic. Cop what show, it's like an episodic cop show. Because Chew is where he chews chewing gum and he sees. No, no, nah, nah, he. he, he 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 gets images from things he eats that people have have touched. So if you've touched an apple and he goes to eat that apple, he'll get, he'll get a psychic reading off that. Only off things that he eats. A food. Only things that that, that, that is food <laughs> That's crazy. That he eats. Yeah. So a true would make a great TV show. Uh, another good TV show would be like a, a hit girl TV show. Yeah. I'd love to see that. Because I be love. I was dying for a third movie because I love the Kick Ass. That was in the. That was in the. It was works. supposed to be made for sure. Yeah, but we, you know, I can't complain. We get like stuff like like the Crow TV show back in the nineties. That's one I forgot about. You yeah. know, and so Mark DeCastos. Yeah, was the Crow. So that was really cool. It was different. There was so much potential. You know? I mean, and to think about what what they've announced and what's coming out. You know, I mean, I'm excited about the whole Netflix and Mark Miller thing how they bought his Miller World. So they're gonna do pretty much a lot of his properties. Oh, that'd be cool if they did the Magic Order. They, they was, that has been on the card. That Ooh, is on the card, but I think they're gonna start, or they've already started with his early stuff, like okay. Huck and stuff like that. Wait, Mark Miller is hit girl and stuff, right? He, Correct. Yes, okay. And he, he recently got the rights back, yeah, from, back from Marvel, because Marvel was on, a, was, on a, was on a Marvel book. Hit girl? Yeah, Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass? Yeah. Wait, Kick-Ass is So a Marvel had a line, of books just like DC had Vertigo, yeah. Marvel had their own. Which is called Icon. Wasn't as popular as wasn't as popular as yeah, Vertigo. Because I've got hit girl books that are on Icon. Okay, I didn't know that. And so and it wasn't as popular as Vertigo. It was their indie line that that their regular creatives could go to and write stuff that wasn't in the Marvel universe. Like Bendis did some books there and, and Mark Miller obviously with Kick Ass. But but TV shows you know, like uh, Gideon Falls has been announced. Uh, Sweet Tooth has been announced. Sandman. Oh, Sandman. That's another one. You know, has been announced. So DC are very, you know, or Warner Brothers, who own DC, they've been very, you know, fickle. And, you know, they want to appeal to the greater audience. You know, the one, one there was one series that I think was was just brilliant with Swamp Thing. I think it was a great series. It looked good, I didn't watch it. But it was so good. good. And they canned it, didn't they? They canned it before it even Yeah, showed. they canned it. What's the McCall took it over, the CW? Like Titans is the type of style that I would like to see DC make their shows in. It's a little bit more for grown-ups and things, or CW seems like it's trying to appeal to the mass. Right, yeah, mass is 100%. Oh, 100%. Okay. It's very tacky. But, 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 but that's, I find it tacky, you find it tacky. But they're appealing to a certain demographic, and they love it. And they love it, and that's good. Good on them. And I, I, I'm glad there's something out there that's just not that's not doom and gloom all the time, and something that people can look forward to. Because when I was a kid, I, we loved Batman '66, and that was tacky as uh, 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 as anything else out there. So we loved it uh, back then. So now I'm glad that there's something that will gain people's interest in the industry of comics. I'm glad that people are knowing that their comic books exist. These characters exist because of comic books. I love that. I love. I love that because that's how I was. That's how I learned. Alright, guys, that is all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Check out my homepage. You've got playlists for all kinds of content. It's not just about this guy. It is about me. What it do you is about this guy? He gets me all the views. So <laughs> until next time, guys. Keep it simple and say bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. That was perfect. You can edit it, mate. Alright. No, no, no. I want it to be smooth straight into the intro. Oh. It doesn't look, it looks more oh. pro. It looks more pro. Invincible. Do you think that would work as a TV show? Yeah, they're doing that as a TV show. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. They're doing that. Right. That'll be on the X-rated thing, I reckon. <laughs> Too much nudity. It's on Pornhub only. It's Pornhub. No, not that bad. <laughs> there were heaps of TV shows that would make a great TV show, you know? Um, there were heaps of TV shows that would make a great TV show, you know? Um, Heaps of tip. Huh? Heaps of comic books. Yeah, heaps of comic books. There are a lot of TV shows that become comic books. Cobra Kai, they did a comic book series. True that, yes, which I still need to read, but... You still haven't read it? No. Yeah, no. Hey, I read three books last night. I like dogs. And, um, I don't know, I'm just looking for someone who will treat me right. <laughs> and Simon here, he does all that. <laughs>